running super late. As always, that seems to be a trend. I'm gonna pack my camera away and I'm gonna take it out when I get to the plane or the, the, the terminal or the, no, the, what's it called? The jetway, the, I'll see you in a little bit. I gotta make sure I get on time. I do have a question though. Are humans in general just typically like late for the most part or are we just so stressed and go, go, go and anxious that we think we're late for everything? It's an interesting topic. I think that I'm just late for everything because, yeah, I should stop talking right now and try to get to my flight. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <sighs> All right. As you can see, I made the flight no issues. Uh, it was actually pretty fast getting through security because I don't actually have to go through customs because I'm staying within Canada. So that made things really, really nice. The only downside right now is uh, I don't have any coffee and I think I might have to just wait to get some on the plane. But it's all right, pounded one on the way here, so I'm set for a couple hours. First on the plane, not bad, gotta love it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, how's it going, man? Good. How you doing? I'm good. We're here. All right, we have arrived. Tour for Peter. This is Chateau Friesen, I guess. <laughs> um, so Bentley, because he's not a big floor guy, we have to have like patchy carpet spots so that he can make it around. <laughs> Otherwise, he wants to back up. Um, this is gonna be your room here. Sweet. So fresh towels. Uh, I don't know if uh -huh. you're a rum guy, but. Beast, look at this, better than a hotel, <laughs> man. And sunrise is gonna be right over the cranes there, so you might wanna set up a time lapse Ooh, in the morning. Look at that, you guys will definitely be seeing more of that. Do and not that worry. That clock's cut cool too, that clock tower, that lights up neon. Um, it's pretty... Uh, uh, beats my view, 100%. Pretty, pretty cool, and then sunset, basically right over that ship, that red cold ship over the harbor there. Really good people watching. I'm right. a huge people watcher. Yeah. Like here, my philosophy is if like you leave your windows open and your lights are on at night, I'm watching. Right. You That's, ask. You basically set it up you, for me. You got like a chest mount. So, Gee, look at so this I, guy. I do it so like. Then you, you <laughs> get like. That's next level people watching, man. It takes the shake out of it. <laughs> what is this? They went in my bag. Those bastards! How dare they? So what's the plan? Uh, we'll head to the office, and then we'll uh, figure out our gear situation. Then we'll go to Mech Mountain Equipment Co-op, and we'll get whatever we uh, don't have and some food. And we're going there because I forgot a jacket. But <laughs> that's okay. We have a jacket for you already. Oh, okay. Perfect. But we'll just kind of like make sure we have everything we need. Leave it to me to forget a coat when I'm going to the top of a mountain to hike and camp overnight on a glacier. This guy forgets a coat, and I'm Canadian. Right. It's just figures. Yeah. All right. So this is my intrepid spot. So we're on the uh, the clapper lighting system. <laughs> huh? Nice, sweet. Uh, gear storage. So charging stations here. Oh, look at this. Radios, um, drive storage. This is all our camping gear. So different uh, sweet mountain adventure stuff that usually gets stacked in there. But we're getting ready. This is Bentley's station over here. So this is. <laughs> Bentley's harness and mutt muffs. Nice. So this is Adventure Love Dog it. Station. The more films you make, the more videos you make, this starts becoming like an like an actual issue. So having like that big power bar back there too, yeah, and then good. all these hubs. That's oh, that's so handy. Yeah. That's what I tried to do in my closet, but I'm like, I'm not really there yet on like the whole charging thing. But guess Here. what I'm doing when I get home.
guy just drops and lands on the floor like he doesn't even care. Yeah, I don't care. I'm pretty he, much. He's like, over it. Yeah, he's just nice over it. Like, he needs that. these things. Only a couple grand, right? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Chump change, yeah. whatever. It's helicopter time, and I'm hella excited for the helicopter. See what I did there? In one, two, three. <laughs> All right, so this is my inaugural helicopter ride on. Does she have a name? Uh, it was kind of the A-Team heli van, I guess, because of the paint scheme, right? Sweet, it's my inaugural ride on this. All right, so I met these guys in Ireland. What was it, a couple weeks ago? It wasn't long ago. A couple, like a month. Yeah, ish. About a month-ish ago, I met these guys in Ireland. We were all speaking at the, the Power of Video Conference in Belfast, and he threw out like a loose invite, like, yeah, you should come up any time. And I was like, all right. Two weeks, I'm coming. And he's like, all right, come. Then he got home and he tweeted me, you should come. So I bought tickets and here I am. Look at all these GoPro batteries. You think you have enough? We have 20 GoPro batteries and we have six GoPro Hero 5s and 20 batteries. Helicopter time. Ooh, no doors. We're live. Okay. All right, don't kill us, man. Why? What? I, we didn't I'll say that was a rule. I'll be so mad at you if you Why would you us? say that? We never said that that I'll was a rule. I'll be really mad at you. That was never a rule. That was yeah. never a thing. No one likes rotor stop, green press stops, good seatbelts are all on, doors are latched, cabin secure, dog secure, and I can put this thing away. Is this best on the floor? Yeah, that's best on the floor, yeah. Do you never put it here. Never, ever, ever, ever. Okay. And don't bump this if you hey, can. Hey, it's oh, all this right. hauls ass, eh? Oh, it's a mess. What's the top speed of this? 130, 130 knots, so 150 miles an hour, but I cruise at more like about 120 miles an hour, about. AKA about 110 knots, 100, 100 knots ish. It I believe sense. I could fly. I've had that song stuck in my head since 94 when Space Jam <laughs> came out. Yeah, pick round door 44, helicopter golf, Yankee, Yankee whiskey. Just east of the tower between the hangars like a uh, northwest bound departure with hotel for Vancouver Harbor. On the mountaintop. Woo! Look at this. Yeah, it is a little cold. Then again, I guess we are on the top of a mountain. <laughs> okay, it's drone time. Commence drone sequence. The G feels good, we're not frozen to the snow. How's that looking, McKinmeister? Okay, so successful flight. That was incredible. Now we're gonna go eat and ramen. Yeah, and get ramen and check out that drone footage. I'm pumped to see that too. Oh, I got so many pictures. I got so much footage. <laughs> I am apt right now. That was a super long day. It is, what time is it? It's one, is it one? Oh, it's 1 a.m. Vancouver time, which means it's 4 a.m my time and I got up at six this morning. So I'm 22 hours in and I'm feeling it. So I'm just setting up a time lapse here. Brad has a super awesome view of Vancouver. So I got my Rhino Motion and Arc set up with a 5D. I'm gonna try and rock that overnight, see if it ends up working out well. And if it does, you'll see it in tomorrow's vlog. So uh, thank you for hanging out with me today. Hit that like button if you like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow.